I've done a lot of videos over the years trying to equip wives to deal with the fact that their husband may be looking at pornography, but today the tables are turned because today I want to talk about the hidden struggle of many women, even Christian women, even Christian wives, and that struggle is themselves being hooked on pornography. Yes, it happens quite frequently. And I, I want to just right now say, please don't, don't you know, cower in shame and, and think that you can never confess this to anyone. That's where the enemy wants to keep you, is in a place of shame. God wants to set you free. He wants you to live in a way that is going to lead to joy and peace. And pornography, just like any other addiction, it, it seems like it's going to bring some kind of happiness or buzz or whatever, and it might even bring you a temporary buzz or, or stimulation, but you know, a day later or even an hour later, does anyone feel like, oh, that was a really good choice. I'm feeling really good about myself. No, just like with any addiction, at the moment, you know, when you're overeating the whole box of Oreos or whatever, it feels good at the moment, but an hour later, you're not going, yeah, that was a great decision. I feel super good about myself. You know what I mean? Same thing for pornography. So. Just get rid of the, the extra shame that the enemy is trying to put on you. And, and let's just talk frankly about this particular addiction. First of all, it is not God's plan for you to be looking at pornography. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 6.18, God says we should flee sexual immorality. And he doesn't have these arbitrary rules just because he likes to be a rigid taskmaster and he's always like trying to punish you and, and catch you, you know, putting your toe over the line. No, he has rules in place because he knows that these rules are like boundaries that will help us find joy and peace that we're looking for. And when we grab for these other things, the forbidden fruit, so to speak, it doesn't lead to deep peace or joy, does it? You know that's true if you've been looking at pornography and, and developed a pornography habit yourself. It does not lead to peace and joy. God's ways always do lead to peace and joy, the things that you've actually been looking for. And so I want to offer you just this little tiny bit of advice. Instead of trying not to look at pornography, you know, that white knuckle approach of trying not to look at pornography, I'm going to ask you to change your your focus and focus on running after God, seeking God with your whole heart, spending time in his word, praying, being around other Christian women who are also seeking God and who can encourage you and maybe help uh, help you discover your spiritual gifts. And as you start using your spiritual gifts, you're going to start to thrive and find that joy and peace. And in my life, even though I myself was not addicted to pornography, I've had many other addictions in my life. And I found that it was easier to break away from those things when I stopped focusing on not doing those things and I started focusing on pursuing God. I want to also offer you a couple of practical resources, some websites that can actually help you. Now, this first one has kind of a strange name to it, but it is a Christian website geared to women struggling with pornography. It's called DirtyGirlsMinistries.com. Also, PornToPurity.com may be very helpful for you. And there's also one called WalkingInFreedom.net. Check out any one of those and get some practical help to help you break free from pornography.